Rest on Network, it's Holly, and I'm here with your Hammers headlines for today, Tuesday, the 7th of November, 2023. Of course, run in association with the brilliant guys at KUMB.com. Now, at the moment, there is a lot of, what should we call it, restlessness at West Ham with some big European and Premier League fixtures coming up that are going to play a key part in the outcome of our season, as well as the seasons to come, depending on European football. And there's one thing for sure, the pressure is on, and we are going to be chatting about some of the different ways that the pressure is on today. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up so we know that you've liked it. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never have to miss out. And of course, please do leave us a comment on your thoughts on everything that we're talking about today, because we want to keep this as interactive as possible possible and we want to hear your thoughts so we can keep improving content and talking about the things that you want to get covered even more so let's get started First up, we have got a lot of reports circulating about Moyes' future and what his next move could be, as well as who could come in to replace the current Hammers boss. Now, in terms of his future at the club, this looks most likely to be reassessed at the end of the season. However, a poor run of results could quite easily lead to this being looked at quite a lot sooner. So this comes after a serious drop in form with five losses in our last seven Premier League games. Our most recent coming after being 2-1 up at halftime against Brentford it felt like we had a good response to going behind and then it just plummeted again. So difficult times at West Ham. And it sounds as though the end of the season will almost certainly now be the time for Moyes to move on, regardless of results, as many feel that he just can't take the club any further than he already has, particularly if our our performances continue to be so inconsistent. And um, it also sounds as though the club have no intention of giving him a new contract. The biggest worry is obviously the lack of league form as well for over a season now. And Moyes is said to have offers on the table, including a role at UEFA. So it may well be the best time for both parties to mutually agree to end their relationship. The only question is, could it happen sooner? I think we'll find the answer quite quickly because we've got what should be a winnable run of fixtures now. And if we do drop points here, I think we might start running into a lot more trouble and it might force these conversations to happen earlier. Now, Stytum is also said to have a contingency plan in place should Moyes be sacked. So we are already working on strategy and replacements behind the scenes. However, apparently this is very normal practice for clubs to have this in place anyway. It just happens to be that by the sounds of it, we didn't already have one of these prepared. Um, so it's good to know that we do have options that we're already lining up should the need arise sooner. I know a lot of people are very keen for Moyes to go as soon as possible and feel that there's just no more that he can bring us. So let us know in the comments which man you would be most interested in seeing manage West Ham and it doesn't have to just be those that are available it can be those that we feel are grabbable so um yeah we don't need to limit our options I'm genuinely interested to hear which managers let's let's put budget aside let's put clubs aside obviously don't just say you're going to steal Pep Guardiola kind of thing but who do you think would be able to take West Ham to the next stage and what does the next stage even entail because for me, we've obviously done well in Europe, but that's papered over a lot of the cracks that we've been really inconsistent with everything that's happening in the Premier League, basically. Um, so let us know what you would want to see from this manager that Moyes currently can't offer. Comments from Moyes have also made it sound as though a Gerd may be dropped in our upcoming game against Nottingham Forest. Now, as great as individual players may be, having a central defensive pairing that uh, can work well together is essential. And we've seen miscommunications continue to happen where players either don't mark up properly, they get dragged in, they make poor decisions that lead to us conceding. And this is definitely an element of our game that we have to wipe out quickly because it's becoming a lot more of a problem. It was particularly evident in our game against Brentford as well, where sloppy defending and our inability to hold possession in what I would call a dangerous area of the pitch, it really cost us. Mopay's first goal wasn't defended against properly. And then Aguerd's poor touch also sent the ball out for a corner, which led to another Brentford goal. So he's been having a tough time of it. And Moyes was quoted by the Evening Standard saying, we've not dealt with things which, as a player, I would have been disgusted with myself for not being able to deal with. And it is thought that this is directly aimed at Aguerd. So it will be interesting now to see how this impacts our starting lineup and whether we could see Zuma and Mavropanos given time to work on their partnership. But the question I have for you is, do you think Aguerd should be dropped? And would you be excited to see more game time for Dinos? Let us know what you think in the comments. 
And finally, ahead of Thursday's clash with Olympiacos, there are still lots of remaining seats that haven't yet been sold. As of this morning, there were still more than 7,800 seats remaining, with the average price being around £25 a ticket. But with firm frustrations bubbling, train strikes, colder weather, Thursday evening, and the cost of attending games as well not being cheap, um, it's potentially putting people off from coming. So here's hoping it does not impact the atmosphere too much, because we need it to be loud and intimidating to um, hopefully help us on our way to our win. Should we struggle to qualify for a European spot, we will need to win a domestic cup, the Europa League or the Conference League to have a fourth season of European football, um, which would be a real shame to not have any more. So I'm definitely going to be there soaking up all the European football that I can because it's something that when I was younger, I, I never expected us to have. I'm going to try and make the most of um trying to enjoy it especially while I can because I'm getting scared that we might not have it next season so if you're at the game make sure you come and say hi I promise I'm friendly and it's always lovely to just chat all things and West Ham and all of that stuff so those have been your Hammers headlines for today if you remember make sure you check out today's exclusive video on our defensive midfield pairing as well thank you so much as always for watching have an amazing day and until next time come on you irons <laughs>